Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today what I'm going to do is we're going to review the Ocean Reef Predator uh, full face mask. It's something I picked up a while ago and I've done some dives on it and uh, just want to kind of put a, a real uh, an end user product review on it. I've seen a couple people out there on the on YouTube about this stuff but most people are just unboxing it and telling you about the, the Ocean Reef the full face mask but they're not diving it so this is uh, um, something I picked up for um, fossil hunting because uh, they they promote the wide range of view which is one of the positives to this I'm going to go over the positive and negatives to this uh, system and what it actually does uh, help with and what it doesn't help with and some things to really consider before you purchase one of these things because this is an expensive piece of you know gear um, I think they retail fifteen sixteen hundred dollars or something like that so let's get into the the pros I like about this the field of view is much better than my uh, other mask so that's not a bad thing that's a really good thing I like about this um, the other thing I like about the Predator uh, mask is when you're looking at it, this is this is metal, uh, so I'm pretty rough on my gear. It comes with the surface air valve right here, so when you go down, you just close this, um, and it starts, you know, breathing off the tank. You open it up, and you're breathing ambient air. Um, really cool feature. I got the quick disconnect for cleaning this mask. Um, take it off my regulator set uh, inside you know you have um, little spots in here like right here you can see the two little holes um, and those where the nose pieces go so when you push in on the mask you can you know block your nose for equal uh, equalization um, I took them out um, when I dive because I can do it without it and uh, all I have to do is wiggle my jaw or you know uh, yawn and I can clear my ears so to have them there kind of felt like it was blocking my breathing because one of the big you know uh, draws to this mask is that you can actually breathe through your nose um, so that's that's a really nice point of this mask one things I one of the things I really liked was being able to breathe through my nose because I am a nose breather um, it fits it fits all right uh, there's some things um, like when I'm looking uh, especially if I'm looking this way if I turn my head this way it leaks right here like it's it's a positive pressure mask so when I turn it automatically starts free flowing out the side of the mask um, and I'm not sure what that is yet. That might just be some type of an adjustment I got to work on. Um, but the field of view is amazing. Um, I will give them that. That is one of the, the cool things about it. Um, the other thing I really like about this is it's um, the regulator and mask together, so it doesn't come apart. Um, which is a good thing because I've seen some videos out there on some other mask, full face mask, where that piece actually fell out of the out of the mask on a dive, uh, and that's just you know that's end user. That's not the mask's fault, but that was the end user. Um, and sometimes you know things like that happen, but there's no chance of that with this particular model. Uh, the other thing uh, to consider on this particular mask is. Um, there's a couple different uh, variations of this and this one the predator does come with the directional valve so I can turn this air will come out this side air will come out the other side or air will come out both sides uh, you can turn it all the way and that's for when you're upside down with this uh, it'll stop it from free flowing or it's supposed to I haven't really tried it yet because I don't do a lot of upside down diving <laughs> Uh, but I, I did get the glasses for it uh, somewhere. Oh, there they are. So these particular glasses, and uh, 
which is another thing I liked about the Ocean Reef was you could buy these glasses and put them in yourself. Um, um, this particular thing is really nice on this mask because you grab this and when you're um, bailing out of this and it just comes right off. It's really cool on how that works. So when you have all these loosened up, you want to you know, start the middle one. So the bottom one and the top. You open this up, you you're breathing ambient air. Close this down and you can actually feel this. So, you open this up, you can pull down like that and up, and it releases the mask. That's really cool. Because uh, the way the original or the, you know, the recreational one, the lower entry level one, there are two little tabs here you pull down on each, each hand to get the mask off. Um, this just makes it one handed and you got a lot going on. Uh, this mask does not fog that's another reason I liked it not that I ever had a problem with fogging is just you never have to worry about fogging however when you put these glasses in here these particular glasses will fog with ambient air um, the second you close your your valve down uh, it, they stop fogging so it clears up that is a major issue for me uh, just because I do a lot of beach diving so going out uh, from the beach headed out into um, where I'm gonna dive I don't wear my mask uh, just because I can't see out of it it fogs up so but the second I you know close that valve and start going down nothing so this is really these are really easy to install basically you're gonna you know find that little there's a little notch here and this little piece right here you'll see this saying here that fits into that notch and that's what holds them in place so you just slide that in take the other side same exact thing And then I make sure there's, I want them on top of the nose piece, so that's how they fit in there. The problem is, is when I put this on, you just take the straps out, you just pull on the inside here, and they come back out. And then you're going to put this back on. So make sure everything's snap and straight. You pull those on. Pull those on. You can already see it's starting to fall. So if you sit here for a minute, you can see it's fogging. But when you close this, you have that air coming back through from the tank and it's gonna defog it but if you're sitting at the surface waiting for someone they'll fog so that's a downside to this um, some other negatives I don't like I don't know if you can see that right in there you can actually see like sand or you know maybe some broken up shells or something from the surf coming in and out um, it's not from dragging this mask on the bottom this really is just from the water uh, and when that stuff gets in here super hard to get out I've tried um, you can even see it some down in there um, it's just hard to get out the other thing let me get this back around is really getting this mask you know clean after a dive 
I mean, when you put water in here to rinse it out or whatever, that's like a trap. Like there's no way to get anything out of that. Uh, so it takes a lot to clean this. This is not a regular mask where you're just gonna rinse it, you know, uh, take care of the silicone and then move on. That's a downfall to this mask. Um, one thing uh, when you're in the training that I found really interesting was I don't think anyone really prepares you for this mask becoming so violent <laughs> when you're clearing it. Um, when you have to clear this mask, you don't clear it like a regular mask. You don't blow out your nose because there is no way to do that um, and clear the mask with this one. So what you have to do is you have to hit the purge button. And when you purge this mask, it became, becomes so violent that it dislodges my glasses. Like they'll just fall down and I'll have to go to the surface anyway and reset them. Um, and that's only in training. I mean, I, I don't see um the real reason for you'd ever have to uh, want to replace a mask underwater because if you're taking your mask off because something's wrong you need to go to the surface anyway because there's something wrong with your system um i nothing wrong with the this at all the regulators really the regulator breathes a little bit harder than my uh, atomic um which is in which is interesting because um, you would think with this quality of mask uh, and the amount of money they're worth, they would breathe easy. But this one takes some effort to breathe for some reason. Um, it did free flow on me the other day, and I don't have very many dives on this. Like I was at, I don't know, 30, 31 feet or something, and it started free flowing. I had to go back to the surface, um, check it out. They do find at about 80 to 90 minutes on this mask it starts getting very uncomfortable right in here on both sides where I'm actually having to like pull it around and I think what it is is this stuff is so like sticky I would say um, because it really forms to your face that after you know diving for 40 minutes or so 50 minutes it starts you know to uh, not chaff the skin but it starts to really stick to the skin um, and that's probably maybe just some more time on the unit or whatever uh, anything else I can think about as far as I don't like so the, the cons really are the purging it blows my glasses off um, the face the inside here begins to be um, kind of painful towards the end of the dive um, not sure why um, the sand that's the biggest one I, I would say my number one complaint about this unit is getting that sand in there like this is an expensive piece of gear and I'm not dragging my mask around this is all from the breakers this is from shore diving um, because I will set my mask right here when I swim out and when I come back in I'm holding my mask and walking in and out but you can even see some of that stuff there that just right in there that irritates me um, just because it's maybe my OCD kicking in I don't know uh, but that's that's the biggest thing and there's no really r way to get that out I don't think without taking it apart and I'm not qualified to take it apart so I'm not going to do that uh, the mask uh, other than that I would say the positives are the field of view the field of view are amazing uh, one thing I didn't talk about earlier is when you put those glasses in there you have that the glasses and then the lens so what I've noticed when I first started diving this was I went to go reach for a mag tooth and I missed it. <laughs> I must have missed it my feet because I went to go reach it and it was just like, okay, I'm not, I'm not hitting it. Um, so that you'll have to get used to. Uh, your depth uh, perception is way different. Um, but now that I'm used to it, 
I'm not missing anything on the bottom. I have clearer uh, vision with this mask than my uh, my Tusa, that I, my prescription mask. So that's really cool. Um, would I recommend this mask? I if you're gonna be uh, if you want communication, this thing is set up for calm systems. It, it is set up perfect for that. That's a great tool. Uh, if you're going to be diving really deep, I haven't dove deep with it yet, um, so I, I'm, I can't really answer that. But I'm assuming just wearing it to where I am is not going to be a big deal. Uh, but like I said, at about 80 minutes, um, every single time, it starts hurting right here. Um, and they don't make any other size. They make the small and the big, uh, large, and it's supposed to fit every face. It doesn't seem to fit my face or something because it does hurt. The other thing I, um, you know, like I talked about earlier, when you tip your head, it leaks, you know, out there. That's not a big deal to me. Uh, they say you use more air with these. Um... I think I used more air the first couple dives. Absolutely, uh, not a lot, but it was it was noticeable. Now that I've got quite a few dives on it, I'm not using that much. I'm not using any more air. In fact, I'm using less air. Um, so I don't know what it. Maybe people are you know at the surface too long, without the surface air valve um, on the lower end models, and there's that they're breathing off the tank while they're waiting for everyone to get in the water. For specific purposes, you do. I would recommend this uh, product. Um, but if you're not going to be doing those, um, I don't think it's worth the money. If you don't need communication, you don't need the field of view. Um, our regular, you know, open water system is just fine. So. If you have any questions or concerns or comments about this, let me know. Uh, if you want me to answer questions about the full face mask, uh, the, how the training goes or anything like that. So this was the Ocean Reef Predator. Uh, it does come with a nice bag to put it in. I kind of like the bag because it's not a small bag. It's it's fairly decent. Like it's you know that size. So what I do is it's really nice to be able to put my mask in here I put my regulator system in here uh, all the hoses and I put my dive computer in there thanks for watching everyone um, just a little clarification I am not sponsored by Ocean Reef this is not a paid promotion they did not give me this product this is something I got uh, for myself uh, and this is you know real experience uh, in the ocean with it uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know uh, what you think about the review videos. I do got some others coming up. Um, and thanks for watching, everyone.